She talk freaky when she texts me, when she texts me Baby, show me something, send a pic when you feel sexy Please don't hit my phone if you be posted where your ex be I don't want that drama, bitch Yo, what up, boys? It's your boy, Marcus, a.k.a. Sora, back at it again with another video. And here, we're going to be talking about Kuroko Street Rivals, a new mobile anime basketball game created by Five Cross. The company is located in Taiwan, Japan, and Hong Kong. Those are their base of operations. Yes, sir. And... It's a new anime basketball game, man. You know, this is what we actually needed. You know what I'm saying? Something something that is anime-esque. I'm getting tired of like, all these realistic basketball games that are pretty trash. They aren't even realistic, to be honest. But that's besides the point. Kuroko Street Rivals just launched their CBT in Hong Kong. Not too long ago, they just had a Japanese cbt as well you know and usually i don't play overseas games but you know i just had to play this one because that's freaking insane they they made a kuroko no basket anime game officially licensed bro officially licensed anime game bro come on bro i had to try this out man and i recommend you guys try this shit out too but I'm going to show you guys pretty much what they have to offer in the UI and all the game modes and mechanics that they have so far. This game reminds me a lot of Slam Dunk Mobile, you know. Same, pretty much kind of the same mechanics, you know. Um, I feel like Kuroko has smoother gameplay, smoother UI. So it's pretty much like kind of an upgrade, if, you, if I should say so. Um, but yeah, this game had tons of beta testers man bro we had so many matches bro and they were all so fun but honestly uh let's see what they have so far i think they have a normal three on three game mode they have a 1v1 game mode um yeah right there so as you can see oh there's another one there's a two on two game mode as well and i think you can create your own room with uh other players and then make it a 3v3 or a 2 on 2 or a 1 on 1 exactly my point man they have a lot of stuff uh right there that's uh the rank leaderboards you know that's another thing that they also have for the rank mode rank mode has the basic kind of ranks you can see it right there uh oh the rewards are pretty insane too so it looks like every season you get like a whole bunch of diamonds if you reach the highest rank um we also have pretty much i think uh oh damn it shows all the fucking ranks already all those are really crazy uh damn bro it's insane actually what the freak this is the story mode as you can see i completed season one of the story mode already it's pretty easy going through the story mode. All you gotta do is just complete the challenges and stuff like that. It's not really that difficult, you know. Uh, didn't feel like completing step two. I wanted to get straight into the game. But they also have a mini tutorial in the game that shows you how to do certain things like scoring dunks or two pointers or actually the block mechanic itself. When the game comes out, you can test those things right now. Um, like right there it just popped up uh it shows you everything pretty much you just gotta go through the fucking list and then i will be showing you the practice mode where you can go against cpu and practice your moves and try to defend the cpu as well so you can practice on your defense as well but the thing is they do have a block challenge mode as well so you can practice blocking certain moves and techniques already but you know what I'm saying? Let me show you something real quick. You, know, you can choose any of the CPUs for the characters and then the characters that you want to play as well. But I just took them out there. Let me show <laughs> Filet, you know what I'm saying? Easy. You know what I'm saying? Kuroko's the best, bruh. 
the fuck? Man, this game is so fucking lit, bro. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. Alright, this right here, you can see the character skills, and then you can also practice them. Um, What else is there, bro? Let's see, let's see. They also have a daily quest system, so you can gain coins and extra materials, and then extra diamonds as well. I'm pretty sure some materials, they help you uh, get certain shop items, or they help you upgrade your ruin system which is what i'm going to show you guys soon in this video and then they have also have a training system for quest questing so you do certain things like just maybe block twice and then you'll get a reward for that um these are all the mini events for the closed beta and those are the daily uh rewards that you pick up at certain times and during the day but coming right up is the gotcha system, bro. It took me so many pulls to get Kisei. I think I got him like during the like end of the fifth day. But I'm showing you like previously what happened. So yeah, I pulled a whole bunch of uh these uh bullshits and I'm showing you like the percentages and the rewards that you can get by pulling. Uh it takes two hundred pulls to get Kisei. And the percentage is pretty low, so I'm guessing you might have to pull the full amount. But it looks like it's 270 diamonds per pull. And that's similar to the Slam Dunk Crystal, which was pretty cheap, honestly. Uh, let me show you what's in the shop. They have different clothings for different characters. And previously, you saw me with the Kuroko clothing. Um, we have a skill talent for the talent trees for the characters and how to buy the characters in the shop uh right now i'm about to show you how to buy one of the characters i think this is oh it is it's taco kozanari oh my god that's the guy with the i think the nah it's not eagle eye i forgot um as you can see those little uh materials they probably help you with like um leveling up your character or something uh yeah that's pretty much it for in the shop oh it shows you a preview of what it looks like oh my god this special effects look fucking insane bruh what the fuck jesus it's fucking cool as shit bruh now moving on to the ruin system dude the ruin system is crazy in this game it's dead ass similar to slam dunk you have the little ruins that help you upgrade your attributes and then you have also i think the mini traits i don't know if they call it traits in this game but you have mini traits that can also boost up maybe like three point percentage or like blocking in certain areas like in the paint or for jump shots you know similar things like that or maybe still success i don't really know i can't read these i, I never really translated these but that's pretty much it oh this is how you pull for the traits or little materials to increase your uh, attributes you know you gotta build up the ruins, and those are those are the little coins I'm I'm seeing right there. Yeah, those are little coins. That's me pulling. Uh, that's insane. Oh, look! I just pulled a freaking trait, bro. It's, bruh, so lucky, bro. But yeah, uh, you can see pretty much that's the basic ruin system. You know, I think the ruin system honestly is the best system for these basketball games instead of like a card system card systems are too rng honestly and i would rather just grind instead of actually having to rng stuff they also have little achievements i think uh right there yeah uh they have achievements for maybe i think just getting little milestones when you're playing the game you know like maybe getting like 20 points or 20 steals in a row some something like that oh and they also have team uh collectible rewards like little materials that'll actually help you upgrade your character something like that yep exactly and it's pretty much it hope you guys liked the video like and subscribe and turn on notifications for the next curricle gameplay